The State Department of Education has released high school graduation rates for 2017, and the data shows that only 79% of eligible students graduated. It's the same as in 2016, but one district says its reported percentage is far from accurate. Six on your side, Stephanie Hale Lopez has the story. In 2017, only 79.7 percent of Idaho students graduated high school, according to the State Department of Education. Wilder's reported rate falls below that average at 68.9 percent. With the recalculation, I'm very confident we're at the 93 percentile for graduation rate in Wilder. Jeff Dillon, Wilder superintendent, says a clerical error is to blame for the district's inaccurate rate with the state. In fact, Wilder High School's graduation rate has exceeded 80 percent the last three years. Nevertheless, Dylan says the state average is concerning. We have over 4,000 students that uh, did not graduate high school that we put nearly $350 million into ed to educate K-12. Dylan, who's running for state superintendent, facing off against incumbent Sherry Ibarra, says looking at data is the first step toward finding a way to raise Idaho's graduation rate. Why are those kids not able to graduate? What are, do we know the information, the data from that that helps us make great decisions on increasing the graduation rate for all students in Idaho that are not able to graduate. Stephanie Hill Lopez, six on your side. State School Superintendent Sherry Barra says the graduation rates show some bright spots but still have room to improve. Dillon will challenge Ibarra this May in the Republican primary.